Hi and welcome. If you consider yourself an entrepreneur and uh, you're looking for grow your business, but you quite don't have a required skills for make some work like a um, website building or web design or so on, uh, there are options to hire the professionals who can help you with that. But there are tons of platforms that allows you to hire the professionals for any purposes. But how to choose the correct one and how to choose the proper platform not to spend all your budget for your needs? That's a big question and we have an answer. We spend a lot of time, money and efforts to analyze all the platforms that are available on the market and we found a great solution for you. So jump into this review to find out all the pros and cons about Freelancer. Hello, if you're looking for a good freelance site, then you need to watch our review to the very end. You always want to find a good user-friendly site. So let's take a closer look at the service that we recommend to you. Freelancer is a website that hosts one of the largest gatherings of freelancers and companies from around the world, featuring more than 45 million professionals from more than 247 countries. On the website, employers can find freelancers for projects in the areas of writing, software development, design, data entry, science, engineering, marketing, sales, accounting, and even legal services. In addition to the main categories, there are thousands of subcategories, even ones as obscure as flash mob and feng shui. There have been more than 16 million jobs posted on Freelancer since its creation. So how does Freelancer work? Whether you are a freelancer or an employer, the first step for getting started on freelancer.com is registering for an account with your email and password or your Facebook account. You must be at least 18 years old or 16 with an adult's permission and oversight. Next, you complete your profile. For freelancers, listing your skills and adding a photo of yourself are crucial for obtaining jobs. You can also take exams and display the results to demonstrate your competency. Once you have been approved, employers can post projects and freelancers can begin bidding on projects by sending a tailored and convincing proposal. If the employer accepts a bid, that freelancer receives the job. When the work is finished and accepted, the freelancer will be paid. To withdraw money, you need to have at least $30 in your account and the most you can withdraw in a month is $10,000. Withdrawals might take up to 15 days. Payments are collected from employers upfront and transferred to the freelancer when the project is finished and approved. Freelancer jobs, fixed price versus hourly. Not only can a freelancer choose the size of the project they would like to bid on, a small short-term project or a large long-term project, but they can decide on hourly versus fixed price jobs. Fixed price projects have designated prices, not mattering how long it takes a freelancer to finish. The upside to that employer knows exactly how much the project will cost and the freelancer knows exactly how much money they will make up front. Typically, the payment will be received at the end of the project. But if a long term project stretches for a few weeks or months, a freelancer can request payments at a designated milestone throughout the work process. For hourly jobs, employers can set a certain rate per hour and include in the description of the job, paying the freelancer for a number of hours work. For the peace of mind of the employer, Freelancer has a tracking app on the platform to record a freelancer's hours work, and it can snap screenshots so that a client can monitor the progress of the project. Freelancer Pros Business can save a great deal of money by hiring freelancers and not having to pay for benefits, sick time, vacation leave, or training. Freelancers on the side have the freedom to set their own hours. Freelancer is the largest freelance platform giving both freelancers access to more work and employers access to more professionals who can complete their projects. There is a very wide range of service offered on Freelancer, making it easy for employers to complete projects in any field. Freelancer Contest provides employers with a large range of project solutions to choose from, and freelancers can earn money if they win by submitting a rough idea that they can revise later so that it's not unduly time consuming. The 10% fees and are fair and even low compared to many other freelance websites. Most freelancers are charged 10% fees or $5 on each fixed price job, unless you are a preferred freelancer, in which case it, the fees are pretty higher. On hourly projects, freelancers are charged 10% for each payment. 
Employers can post projects for free, but you must pay a fee of either 3% or $3 on fixed price jobs or 3% on every payment for hourly job once you accept a bid. Some of the exam freelancers can take and display on their profiles cost 5, 10, or 15. Because Freelancer has become well established since its inception in 2009 and has grown to be the largest freelance marketplace, you can be confident that it is perfectly legitimate and not a scam. One of the tell signs of a scam is a short history and a low number of social media followers. However, Freelancer has a reputable history of 11 years and a large following on social media, with more than 2 million followers on Facebook, more than 200,000 on Twitter, and more than 14,000 on Instagram. Like any other freelance website, there is the possibility of scams happening within the platform, both from potential employers and freelancers. Unless you have worked with a freelancer for a while, they have proved to be reliable, it is wise not to share login information for your website or any other sensitive information. Employers also should never pay money up front without receiving any work. As a freelancer, avoid fake job postings by only bidding on employers that have a verified account and a high number of excellent ratings. Be wary of companies that immediately try to get you to communicate or work off the platform, especially if they ask you to do outside work for them or want to pay you outside of the website. Some scammers will also ask you to create accounts for other people using your personal information, which is something no one should ever do. Do not agree to do test projects because it is likely you will not be paid and will never hear from the employer again. Your portfolio sample should be sufficient. The customer service team is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If there are payment disputes, the freelance customer service team can intervene and settle the case. However, there is a fee of $5 or 5% on every dispute, and only the winner will receive a refund of the fee. A good freelancer will meet deadlines, consistently produce high-quality work, and receive criticism and instructions well. Make sure to hire freelancers who read your job description carefully and took the time to write a targeted proposal that clearly demonstrates how they will meet your need, as this is strong evidence that they will be meticulous in their work and deliver a high-quality project on time. Ask for portfolio samples to see if the freelancer's writing style and tone matches your project. Finding a freelancer who responds to matches promptly is also important. What is a preferred freelancer? For freelancers whose profile meets the requirements, there is a preferred freelancer program. That includes several benefits. If a freelancer has qualifying profile, they can contact the support team and apply for the program. Once you are approved, you will receive a badge on your profile that alerts employers that you are a preferred member and a particular skilled freelancer, which sets you apart from the competition. You also will begin receiving job opportunities from freelance recruitment teams such as today's, these invitations will only be high-paying jobs from the top employers. Preferred freelancers receive 50% of the projects on Freelancer.com or $2,000 or more. A preferred freelancer can also bid on as many as 100 jobs each day. The downside is that there are higher fees for preferred freelancers, 15% instead of the usual 10%. The preferred freelancer program is not available for freelancers with a free membership. Freelancers must pay at least $4.95 a month for the basic membership plan, which also includes 50 bids instead of only 8. And you can list up to 50 skills on your profile with a custom cover photo.